hypothesis testing the product moment correlation coefficient, the PMCC test. Let's have a look at this uh, exam paper question. We have X and Y and the first step is to work out the PMCC, the product moment correlation coefficient between X and Y. That's simple. Put the data into your calculator and get the value of the PMCC R from your calculator. Okay, so resetting the calculator first. So you're doing this. Mode, statistics, option two. So you need X and you need Y. Put all the X values in, all the Y values in, and get the value of R from your calculator. To get R, once the data's in, clear the uh, display, press shift, one, option seven. The value of R is 0 0.915 for showing strong positive correlation between X and Y. Part B, we're going to carry out a hypothesis test at the 1% level uh, to, to uh, determine whether the value that we calculated in part A indicates a positive association between the weight gains of mothers during pregnancy and the weights of their children at three years of age. So the H0 and H1 statements will be as follows. H0, the population product moment correlation coefficient is equal to zero. H1, the population product moment correlation coefficient is greater than zero. This states we are looking for a positive association or a positive correlation. Let's draw the number line. Minus one, plus one, zero. The formula book, critical values of the PMCC, table eight, page thirty. Because we're looking for a positive association, it's a one tailed test. And we have a one percent significance level one tail test, so it's the top row, 1% significance level, so we're in this column, and we have a sample of size 10, there, 10, so the critical value is 0 0.7155, 0 0.7155, that's the critical value. And because we're looking for a positive association, this arrow points to the right, we're shading to the right. If this said less than zero or um, a negative association, then I would have drawn this line on this side and shaded to the left. Our test statistic is this value here which we've already calculated and this value will be marked on the number line below 0 0.915 is clearly in the critical region here so this is the critical region that's the critical value and this is the test statistic very clearly in the rejection region so test conclusion reject H0 and then we can conclude that there is significant evidence that a positive association 
exists between the weight gains of mothers and the weights of their children at three years of age. Okay, that's enough. So just summarizing overall, the first part, part A of the question, was to work out the PMCC between the weight gains of mothers and the weights of their children at age three and then that became our test statistic we wrote down H naught that there's no association between the mother and the child and H1 that there is a positive association between the mother and child we use a number line to represent the uh, PMCC values and then we looked up the critical value from the tables. We've marked the test statistic on this number line. Clearly it falls in this critical region, so we've rejected H0. We have rejected this, and we said there's evidence for this. What type of error could have been made from all of this? A type 1 error, because the conclusion was to reject H0. And if it's an error, uh, that shows we should have uh, accepted H0 and concluded that there is no association between the weights, uh, the weight gains of mothers and their children at age three. Okay, so a type one error um, can only occur when uh, the conclusion is to reject H0. Uh, the probability for type one error is always equal to the uh, significance level, which in this case is 1%. So there's a 0 0.01 chance. That's the probability of, from uh, making a uh, type 1 error.